Hi guys and welcome to a quick mini video from me, Taffy Coins, aka Kyle on the Carpet. So basically, um, this is going to be part of a new series that I'm looking to do. It's basically, it's just going to be reviewing like different coin companies that I've been using, just to give you a feel for what's out there. And also a little bit of free promotion for the guys that I actually use, because in these uncertain times that... And to be honest, everyone could do with a little bit of free promotion. So what I'm just going to be talking about is stuff that I've purchased, like this little small envelope pure, the services that I've used with them, uh, my personal experiences. So this little package is from The Coinery. They do have a website called, and it's www.thecoinery.co.uk. And... Basically, one of the guys on there, uh, on the YouTube, uh, sorry, not on YouTube, on the Facebook groups, I purchased this off. They do run auctions on some of the Facebook groups. And if you're lucky, you might get some bargains. So, this is what I purchased from them. So, this is a clipped James the First shilling. So, I'll just... Well, actually, I'll just pull this out now for you just to have a better look outside of the plastic. So, quite a, quite a charming little coin. There is clips, so you can see it's missing lots of the writing just around the edges. And there's James the First himself. So, I can't quite remember the dates of his reign but i think it's in the <coughs> 15 1600s some somewhere about by there but it is to me a very nice coin managed to pick this up for 33 pounds on the auction um you can see this is hammered silver so that is it is quite thin i'm not sure like what mint it was produced i saw sometimes some uh, <clears throat> Some of the kings had mints up and down the country. The oldest mint being the royal mint. I'm, I'm not sure if they would have all been classed as the royal mint at some time. But, quite a fan of that coin personally. And when I purchased that, I thought I might as well just quiz them just to see if they had anything else that I might want. So what I did, I purchased these two as well so in 1946 and 1949 and you can see there it's a George the sixth threepence both of them are so these are basically the rarer dates of the threepences in in those sorts of states that they basically sorry worth around about five somewhere five ten pounds each nothing too extravagant but I do like some of the old brass threepences. And famously, George Osborne, the old Chancellor of the Exchequer, said that he was quite a fan of them, and hence why we have the new 12-sided £1 coin, which is modelled, actually, on the old brass threepenny bits. So, experiences just using the coinery. Really professional, really <coughs> so really quick just to get stuff out. Um, no problems with customer service at all. They are very helpful. They will look at your needs as well. Just quiz them just to give them an idea of what they have and what you are looking for. And they will certainly do their best just to look in, into it and certainly place some very nice coins no doubt in your collection so i'm gonna leave that there like i said experience overall very very good marks out to 10 for experience and service i would certainly give them a 10 no issues at all um i believe it is i think about the second maybe the third time that i have used the coinery and no issues at all so thank you very much stay safe guys please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification button thank you